Oop, you can mix in a blender and serve up within a half an hour. That's right, and it is made with healthy ingredients including a spice that will kick up the taste just a little bit. Let's head into the kitchen at Scott Community College with Chef Brad Scott. Hi, Chef Brad Scott from the kitchens of Scott Community College. And you know, there's a nip in the air, so I thought, why not a special spicy little soup? How about coconut ginger curry squash soup? Let's get started. I've got some almond milk. I've got some curry powder, salt, pepper, some coconut milk some squash that I cooked ahead, acorn and butternut. You know, this is really perfect this time of year. So I went ahead and cooked these things well done so they're nice and soft. So I'm gonna add these directly to a mixer. So get out the blenders, people. So let's go ahead and scoop our acorn squash into our blender. You know, I figured a whole squash of each We'll give you about four portions of soup. And you know, we got the Cadillac of blenders here. This is a Vitamix and it is a beauty. Now the butternut. And you know, this is just so easy and so good. I like to use an ice cream scoop because it gets right down there in it. To that, I'm gonna add two cups of almond milk. I'm going to add two tablespoons of curry powder, less if you like less, and a full can of coconut milk. You're going to want to start this on low because of all the liquid. Make sure you've got the cover on. Low, bring it up a little bit. We're just trying to get this a little emulsified and maybe about five seconds on full gun. And that's it. Go to the pot. Oh, smell that curry. Let's dice a little ginger. Make sure you mince it very well. Then I'm going to pop a little garlic. Mince that as well. And I'm going to add both of these to the pot. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of black pepper, about a half teaspoon of kosher salt, and I'm going to keep stirring this. We're going to bring it up to a lazy bubble, and that's all there is to it. All right, we've got our lazy bubble, about 20 minutes. And I've got a nice crock here. You know, about three quarters of a cup per person. I'm going to garnish this with some chopped scallions. And I like to serve this with a plate of charcuterie, salamis, hams, smoked cheeses, fruit. This goes wonderful for a winter day. Coconut curry squash soup. 